champions and welcome back. This is our third video of getting us ready for the school year. I've talked about what my classroom expectations are for the online learning. I've talked about what our daily schedule looks like. And now I want to talk about what our school supplies look like. I know your parents have already received the school supply list, but I just wanted to go over in a little more detail about what my expectations are with the school supplies and how we're going to utilize them. Because I know myself, my parents always are like, we bought all this stuff for school, we never used it. Here's why we need the list that we have in particular, okay? So the first thing that I put on our school supply list for this year is a pencil pouch, something like this. This pencil pouch happens to have a binder clip, so this could go in a binder, okay? This pencil pouch houses everything I need to be successful for the school day all that and more. It doesn't need to be overflowing, just the basics. And those basics that I'm talking about, well, I want pencils. At least two pencils a day with relatively good erasers. I know it says a 24 pack of pencils. In my experience as a teacher, if you start off day one with all 24 pencils in your possession, by the end of the week, you'll lose 24 pencils. But if you start with two a day and make sure that every day you check that pencil pouch and you know that you have two pencils, you're good to go, okay? I also put colored pencils. And yes, I did put a 24 pack. If you want crayons, if you want markers, if you want colored pencils, whatever medium works best for you, there is no right or wrong. This is for those activities that I give us in which I ask us to draw something and color something. It doesn't need to be a full 24 pack, it can be an 8 pack of just the simple basic colors. Something to color with. We're not going to use it all the time, but at least once a week you'll have an activity in which you have to draw or color something. So having these handy can be very important. Next up, it's a small little personal pencil sharpener. These can range anywhere from 50 cents to four or five dollars, come with different contraptions to keep the lead, but basically we want to make sure that our pencils that we're writing with are nice and sharp so that we can use that. Okay, if you're at home and set up your own electric sharpener for your sharpened pencils, that's great, but you don't have to get fancy with this, okay? Pens, black pens, okay? We won't be using these for everything. However, there's gonna be a few times, especially with our creative writing, that I wanna see us take our rough drafts that we've handwritten out and try our best to make a final draft in pen, okay? So I put 10 on there, more or less, as long as you have a pen when the time comes to practicing our formal uh, finished drafts or final drafts. All right. I also have red pens, any kind of red pen, clicky uh, stick in cap. If it's a red pen, we're going to be using that because there's going to be a few times where we have a math assignment or science assignment and I want you to check your own work. So using the red pen helps us to mark in a color other than black or in pencil. So this red pen will be used for our corrections. You don't need a full pack, but having some red pens available would be nice. I put Kleenex or tissue, okay? Everybody has that one day in which they come to school, they get to class, and their nose is running. You may not be 100% sick, could be allergies, could just be the common cold, but having these available is nice so that you can blow your nose and take care of that yourself. All right, so that's pretty much everything that I have in my pencil pouch. 
If I want more, I can put more. If I want less, I can have less. The more stuff you have in here, the more likely it is that not everything's going to be used or that we could lose some of our things that we might really need later on in the school year. Okay. All right. Next up, I have an 8 by 12 personal whiteboard, something like this that I can write on. And by having this whiteboard and some dry erase markers, you can have as many as you want, it really helps, especially with some of our math lessons. If, say, I have 7 times 9, I write 7 times 9 on there, and my answer would be 63. Now, I know in my camera it's appearing backwards. However, I can read backwards, and it's a quick way to check our math work. So having your dry erase board and a marker can be very handy for our success. All right. Next up, these three items kind of go together. We have a pack of college ruled or wide ruled paper. You decide at fourth grade, some people have very tiny handwriting, some people still have big spaced out handwriting. Find the paper that works best for you. I don't recommend having more than 100 sheets of paper, but this is nice so that you have scratch paper available or in case I'm asking you to do a creative writing assignment instead of tearing out pages from a comp book, which is really difficult, you've got those pages there, okay? And those can be stored in your three inch binder, your three inch or your three ring binder. I don't need more than an inch. We don't need the super gigantic binders. A small binder that we can hold our paper in and that we could put five tabs in. This scholar had more than five tabs. Just need five uh, because this is also going to double as our leadership notebook. And there's going to be whole videos and trainings on how to utilize our leadership notebooks to our fullest extent. But that's what we're using the binder, the tabs, and the lined paper for. OK? I forgot to have my flashcards, but uh, even still, if I had index cards or flashcards, I could practice every day, especially with multiplication and division. Fourth grade's a big year for making sure we have our multiplication facts. There will be videos on how to fully utilize our flashcards so that we're gaining from them. Uh, that should be coming out in the first couple weeks of school. Okay? And the last two things that I wanted to say is you need two composition books. One composition book that is going to be your vocabulary and things to remember. This is a catch-all book for all of our different subjects. I wanted it to be a composition book because none of the pages can ever fall out. It's really difficult to lose pages from here. Now, if you want to go above and beyond with your uh, book, if you want to find these post-it uh, tabs, you can set tabs in there. You can set four tabs of uh, math, science, language arts, and history or social, social studies. And you can put those tabs in there so you can flip open to what section. Or you can just uh, label each page what day and what subject it is. This is your catch-all for notes. Uh, the last one you're going to have is another composition book. Mine's yellow. I set it on the table over there, so I can't grab it just right now. But it is my morning meditations journal where I write down the quote from the morning message. I write out my thoughts before I type it, okay? And that, those two will be used pretty much daily. I'm saying two to get us started. Come second quarter, it may be a possibility you may need to acquire more notebooks. Uh, it depends on how big you write or how much you write with each activity. And with that being said, that concludes our list of things that you need for online learning. I'm gonna throw in two more things 
for those scholars who aren't at home completing online learning, whether you're here at Paidea in the cafeteria, or if you're at Boys and Girls Club or any other uh, place where you're not at home and you might be interacting with other scholars or people. Face mask. You want to use your face mask if you're anywhere in public. And if you have your own hand sanitizer, that can be helpful just to keep us all safe and clean in these times. Okay? So, those are what you need for success. You know what my expectations are. You've got an idea of what our schedule looks like. So if you have any further questions, feel free to ask, and hopefully I can answer them, especially before Monday when everything begins. Take care, stay awesome, and I'll talk to you soon.